And welcome back to the show. Speaking about education, Bronx Works has a program that's helping Bronx residents actually secure their GED and get on path to college or find a career. Now, the Bronx Works Excel program offers daily GED prep classes, combining group and individual instruction to prepare participants to obtain their high school equivalency diploma. We have now sharing with us the Assistant Program Director of Excel, Adult Literacy and Workforce Development at Bronx Work, James Dunn. And uh, James, glad to have you. And when we talk about uh, a GED uh, in this climate, a GED still means a lot. Absolutely. Uh, people who earn their GED or earn their high school diploma are more likely to um, vote. They're more likely to have better health. They're more likely to contribute positively to their communities. And so having a GED is a, a, is a, a, a good step for a good, a good life. Um, and what we, what we want to do here at Bronx Work is to help people who, who haven't earned a high school diploma achieve uh, the American dream, if you will. And so uh, one of the ways to do that is by offering um, GED prep classes. We have classes uh, four days a week. And we offer prep classes in um, math, science, reading, social studies, and literacy. And so uh, the goal here is to, uh, again, help people obtain their GED and eventually move on to uh, college or a, a, a career um, in some kind of uh, uh, profession um, that, that of their liking. Uh, and then, um, so one of the challenges, you know, Bronx has, has one of the highest dropout uh, rates in the city. And one of the main reasons why people drop out is because of poverty. And, you know, it's kind of hard to focus on school when you're worrying about shelter and food and, and how to, and basic necessities of life. So we are here at Bronx Works. We offer kind of wraparound services to help support students in our GED programs so they'll stay in school, that they'll stay engaged. And so if they're having issues with housing or eviction, or they don't have health insurance, or if they have issues around immigration, um, whatever it can be, we have uh, services um, that will help them um, stay in the program and achieve uh, eventually their high school um, diploma. Yeah. And so for uh, students that want to participate in the program, how long does the program last for? So the program is generally between 11 and 14 weeks, four, four days a week. On Fridays, we offer tutoring. And so when, they, when, the, when a uh, student or potential student comes in, we test them to see what their reading level is. And so we have two tracks. Students who score uh, ninth grade or above are placed immediately into the uh, high school equivalency uh, uh, program and students who score between six and, and 8.9 grade level are put in kind of like a, what we call our pre-GED program or, or adult basic education program. Um, when they're there, we offer uh, help with like, uh, obviously tutoring. We also um, help with time management, note-taking skills. Um, and so for a lot of students, they've been out of school for several years. They have to kind of get re, re we acclimated to uh, uh, a classroom environment. And so, and then also technology plays a huge role as well, because when you take the, the, the GED in its current form, it's just a computer-based test. And some students, um, for, for whatever reason, they, don't, they might not have internet access at home, or they might not even have access to a, a computer, have to learn how to use a, key, a, a computer, a, a keyboard, um, how, to how to type, all of those things. So we, we, we focus on that as well in our program. Um, in addition, and this is the workforce component, we offer workshops, you know, resume, um, uh, building a resume, uh, cover letters, um, interview taking skills, um, and all those things that you'll need in order to um, obtain a job at, at some point, if that's what, if, if that's what they're interested in, in doing. So in some ways, when people look at the GD, it's not just having the piece of paper, but it's also getting the skills that are necessary to really be able to move on into the workforce that taking a GED class actually helps you once you graduate. Exactly, absolutely. So uh, you have to be able to, um, you know, you take the GED, that's just an entry point into the world of work, um, particularly for higher paying jobs or college. Um, and so for many students um, who come into our program, that's kind of like the beginning of, 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 of a, new, a new life for them. They're able, they're able to access college, community college, um, to go into to go into a, a, a job training program, um, and so it, it offers a, a, a sense of freedom and then a lot, for, for a lot of them relief because they're actually able to kind of show up 
um, in a way uh, uh, for themselves that they haven't been able to. So the workforce, let's talk about the workforce right now. When you're trying to get a job and you're looking for a job, how many employers are actually asking whether or not you actually have a high school diploma or GD? Well, um, quite a few, actually. I mean, the, a high school diploma essentially is like the minimum that you can have nowadays to get a, to, to, to get a job. Um, unless you're a teenager, a lot of times if you're in school, you're already in school, but you, you need to either be in school um, or have attained uh, some kind of a GD, especially if you're, uh, if you're under 18. If you're, under the, if you're under the age of 18. And for people who are trying to get the GED, obviously it's a, it's a progress thing because as you progress in the skills, uh, you're also adapting to a changing skill set that we're seeing in the work environment because whether or not we want to admit it or not, the workforce has actually changed now and what was isn't what was. And people who may have had employment years ago um, mm -hmm. are still facing that challenge of a changing and adapting environment. Well, a lot of our students, um, it's, it's certainly issues with skill, skill development, but um, in our program, we also focus on what we call some of the soft skills, like coming to come in, you know, time management, coming to class on time, uh, interpersonal uh, communication, um, working in, within groups and with teams. And a lot of employers are looking for those things in the workforce as well, in addition to the, the hard skills that you need, that you need in order to perform, um, perform at a job. So obviously it's computer taking skills, the ability to communicate with others, um, to be able to uh, write and complete, complete sentences to communicate. If, you have, if your supervisor asks you to write a memo or an email, I have to think about the audience and the purpose and the, and, the, and the context in which you're asked to do those things. And so our program kind of prepares the people for that kind of, um, the, the interaction that you would, you would uh, uh, encounter in the, in the, in the workplace. And also that also the, and also that the, the ability to think critically. Employers are not only looking for people who can do um, do a job, but also can solve problems. Who can think critically? Who can um, apply, make uh, make connections, um, and um, uh, who can also work across uh, groups, function uh, functional groups as well. So, what are the next steps for a potential person who's watching the show, or maybe as a family member or a friend that they think could fit this category, what's the next steps for them if they want to get enrolled? Well, if they like to be enrolled, they can come to, um, we're located at 1130 Grand Concourse um, in, in the Bronx, on the second floor. You can call, someone who's interested can call 718-508-3083, or they could um, send an email to me, jdunn, J-D-U-N-N, -N, at bronxworks.org. And I also have an alternative email, Excel, Excel actually, Excel at Bronxworks.org, so they can use that as well. Now, is this rolling admission? How does it work? Uh, we have at this, at right now, we have rolling admission. Um, it, it, it depends. Right now, we're enrolling for our summer program, which will start on July 11th. So anyone who's interested in joining us this summer, um, right now, we're currently um, enrolling students for the uh, July 11th uh, program. It begins, it goes from like July 11th through September, I believe September 15th. All so right. Yeah. Well, James, we got, we got the information out there. Certainly, I hope that there's some people who will take advantage, as we say, very important uh, if you're trying to really have some success in the workforce. A GED is a good place to start. And uh, James Dunn, who is the Assistant Program Director of Excel Adult Literacy and Workforce Development at Bronx Work, has been our guest. Thank you so much, James, for joining us. Thank you. All righty. Well, I want to let you know if you want more information, don't hesitate to visit the Bronx Works website at bronxworks.org. We do have more show. Don't go anywhere. Open continues coming up right after this.